your recycling efforts might be in vain, come with us on a journey to see what happens to your recycling. Follow along as we take you on a tour of our state-of-the-art material recovery facility, or MRF, called The Exchange. local LRS recycling truck drive through your neighborhood emptying the bins. They do this all over cities and neighborhoods. But what happens once the truck is full? Well, that's when they head to the MRF. Our first stop at the exchange is the tipping floor. It's where LRS trucks are weighed and the recyclables are emptied onto the ground to be sorted. Then it's time to get sorting. Our fully electric material handler picks up recycling off the tipping floor and sets it on the conveyor belt to begin its sorting journey. Next, we come to these rotating metal shafts you see, which are called augers. The auger screen acts as a pre-sort. It sends big materials one way and small materials the other way. Items like large pieces of cardboard sail over the top and items such as bottles, cans, and jars fall through to the bottom, putting these materials on separate recycling journeys. Once the small items fall through the auger screen, they hit a glass breaker. The broken glass is sucked into a silo called the cyclone separator. This machine moves air in a circular motion, causing the heavy glass to fall to the bottom while contaminants like paper and plastic are sucked out by vacuums. You may have noticed that we rely on many screens here at the exchange, but did you know that they don't just sort material by size? They also sort by two-dimensional and three-dimensional materials. This waterfall of recycling spills into our next set of screens that separate out 2D and 3D materials. Did you know that only some metals are magnetic? We sort these types of metals using our drum magnet. As they pass through, the metal gets stuck and allows the other recyclables to move on to the next step in their journey. This might be the coolest piece of equipment LRS owns here at the MRF, the optical sorters. These machines use infrared light. Based on how that light refracts, the unique material is recognized and an air jet is triggered, shooting the item into a new container. Did you know that the LRS MRF has more optical sorters than most others? Have you ever seen a robotic arm? At the LRS Exchange, we have one that uses AI technology to recognize aluminum. It then uses a suction to lift and sort the pieces of aluminum to be repurposed. This robotic arm is new to our MRF and is one of the ways LRS shows its dedication to innovation. The MRF has tons of high-tech equipment, but one of the most important parts of the recycling journey is the people who work here at the exchange. This incredible LRS team makes sure that our recycling is free from contamination and that all items have ended up on the correct journey. We prioritize safety here at LRS. Employee vigilance is essential in safeguarding the well-being of all individuals and we celebrate the dedication our team has to ensuring the well-being of everyone in the facility. We're coming to the end of our recycling journey at the exchange, and I'm sure you're wondering how we store all this recycling we've sorted until it can be sent off and turned into something new. That's where our balers come in. They make Lego blocks of recycling for us by compressing the materials into a tight cube before it heads off to the storage area. We've reached the final stop of our recycling journey, the bale storage area. This is where the Lego blocks of recycling get stacked so they can be transported to mills and factories across North America to be turned into new products. Now that we've completed our recycling journey, you may be wondering what we can recycle and what gets sorted out. Each MRF is different, so check with your local recycling provider. But at LRS, we accept paper, cardboard, metal, glass, curtains, and hard plastic. Soft plastic is not recyclable at a MRF facility. So remember, if it's plastic you can smash, 
throw it in the trash, or take it to a local grocery store that offers plastic bag recycling. So why recycle? Recycling is important for many reasons. It conserves natural resources, creates jobs, diverts material from the landfill, and even combats climate change. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of the LRS Chicago Exchange Material Recovery Facility and learned a little bit about the journey your recycling goes on once it leaves your bin. This leaves us with one final question for you. Are your recycling efforts worth it? At LRS, we certainly think so.